going so slow right now. No. Hey, so I'm on the road. Um, yeah, so I am driving right now, which is weird for me because I vlog mostly from New York, which is where I live most of the time. But right now I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, the reason why I'm here is because I am working on a musical at a theater. Um, for those of you who don't know me that well, I have been pursuing a career in musical theater for a little over a year now. Um, it was something I did in high school and then I decided to study classical music instead and then after I was done with that, I was like, no, I think I want to be an actor now. And, um, and then I like planned my wedding and then I worked for like, for then I worked for, you know, like two years in New York and you know wasn't happy doing that so I decided to go after my dream and um, I started auditioning like a little over a year ago which has been an interesting experience it is as hard as everybody says it is which is not anything I doubt it ever um, but uh, I auditioned for a show back here in Pennsylvania at a theater called Montgomery Theater in Souderton in January um, it's called The Sisters of Swing, the story of the Andrews Sisters. Um, so go ahead and Google the Andrews Sisters. You'll recognize their voices. It's like three sisters that sing in three-part harmony. And um, they're, they're really great. And it's a style of music that I really love. So I was like, I really want to be in the show. Um, so I auditioned. I had a good audition. I went to the callback, which, you know, I, I wasn't really sure how it went. I didn't really feel too good about it afterwards. Um, and then I initially wasn't cast, and then like a month later, I got another email from the theater, and they were like, we need a cover for all three of the sisters, you know, can you do it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I can. So this is my very first professional acting anything, and it has just been, you know, a complete dream. It's so crazy that I'm doing this right now. I'm so happy. Um, you know, I, I wake up, I get ready, I go to rehearsal, um, you know, I get to sing every day, I get to dance every day. It has been so wonderful. Um, so I hope that this is just the beginning of um, these types of opportunities. Um, the only downsides are is that I'm not in New York right now, but you know, that's, that's the business. Most of it's not in New York. Um, the plus side is that I'm not like in the middle of nowhere. You know, I'm in, well, I kind of am because um, that's where I'm from, in PA. Um, but I'm with my parents, um, who are really great, and I have, and they have three really awesome cats, and I really like cats. Um, so they're all cool. And um, in the last three weeks, I have been in contact with so many of my friends that live here, which is like most of my friends. Most of my friends live here in Pennsylvania. Um, and that's what I'm on my way to do now, actually. Um, Dan's not here, unfortunately, and I miss him a lot, but I get back to New York twice a week so I can work at my job. It stinks, but I still have to go work at my job in New York twice a week or so. Um, Dan has like a million jobs in New York, so he has to stay working at those. And, um, other downsides are is I really don't like driving. You know, driving is a bummer. Um, I love taking the train places. I like walking places. Um, I just don't don't like driving um you know in New York you have the train where during this time I'm driving right now and I have to like be attentive and know what's going on you know in New York you let someone else do the driving on the train and you sit there with your books or your video games or your phone and you read or you play or you talk to people like it's so much easier than like this you know sitting behind a car and like getting angry at people who won't move out of your way like i was stuck in traffic earlier and it made me so mad i don't feel like that in new york i don't i get like traffic angry i just get train angry you know which is that feeling you get when you really wanted a seat on the train but you don't get one um but it's not, i don't mind pennsylvania i do miss new york though i miss it a lot um what else is going on? Easter is coming up. Um, so that's going to be exciting. I'll be able to see some family during that time. It's Passover right now, which is Dan's favorite holiday. Um, but because I have rehearsal, I have to miss his family Seder. And that is a bummer. Um, because it's Dan's favorite day. And 
it really stinks. But on Easter, I have to go to back to New York and work that day anyway. So it's just like, ugh, I cannot catch a break. I feel like this is my first actual day off in about two weeks, which, you know, for some people, that's not so bad. Like, I don't think Dan's taking a day off since the new year, and I'm not exaggerating. But, but for me, that's a lot of work. I don't know. I'm just a lot lazier than he is. Um, so, yeah, I should be at the mall soon. Traffic's been really crappy today, but but I should I should be there soon, so I'll show it to you. It's absolutely ginormous. I'm meeting my friend Sarah there. She's one of my best friends. We went to college together. Um, she was one of my bridesmaids at my wedding. Um, she's just a cool person, an excellent person, one of my favorite people, so um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. I found it! I found a look at Penny, and I'm gonna be that who cuts right through the parking lot. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, look at me go. Anybody coming? No? No? Great. Okay, yeah. Look at me go! My sweet ride for today is my dad's Honda CRV because Dan has our car in New York. Now I'm gonna go into JC Penny. This is at the back of the mall, which makes it a lot easier to get into than Lord and Taylor's and uh, Macy's, which are at the front of the mall, which is where everybody goes. There's a lot more parking back here. So if you're gonna go to KOP, this is a good place to enter from. Also Bonefish Grill over there. My parents are big fans because they don't eat meat on Fridays for religious reasons. So I'm in a mall, I'm my friend Sarah. So we're looking for free people, but this mall is so effing huge, I was like, I don't know where I'm living is. So. I need this jacket. This is a hot topic, and I really, really want it. <laughs> Sarah's laughing at me because <laughs> I'm five. Oh my god, okay, bye bye, jacket. Bye bye. So I have a mall for this map, like I'm at Disneyland. We're just trying to find one store. Just trying to find free people. Yeah, I don't know where. Where are you? Free people. Court. No, it's in the other building. I don't want to go there. Of course. Francesca's in this building. Francesca is in this building. We'll go there. Where's that? It's in section B, which is, there it is. Let's see, so Francesca, <laughs> what is this? Were we right there? We were by Penny's. We were there. Yes. We're in the Hama. Oh, so it's oh, around the corner. From here? Maybe. Yeah. We're by... We are by what? This is a luxury. Deep, where are we? Tommy Bahama. Monterey, Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. Oh yeah, we're right around the corner from there. Okay, let's go. This is like a rip off of Stardust Cafe. That's hilarious. We're gonna go to Francesca's. I need a new dress. Oh my god, these are great. Strawberry earrings are amazing. Oh yeah, those are really cute too. So I really like this, but it turns out it's not a dress. It's like shorts with like a cape. But I really like it, so I still might get it. Guess who didn't buy clothes for church? But I did buy that <laughs> shorts with the cape thing. <laughs> with the cape shorts. Because they're really cute. So hopefully there's something in my dry cleaning. I, can wear. I think my red silk dress is in there, so. <laughs> Good luck to me. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, but why are you like $9? It's still $9? You tell them this store's closing. Sorry, we're in JCPenney. $9 is too expensive for a clearance price. For a towel? Yeah. So we're trying to find this restaurant and we ended up like 10 miles away because because why not? <laughs> we don't know where things are. Oh well! So this place is super cute. They've got this like whole outdoor setup here which is really nice. They have lights. I don't think we're gonna stay late but that'll look nice when it's dark. So we're like across the street from the King of Prussia Mall in this new shopping center they just built here. This was not here when I was in college. Um, but I'm really excited. It just smells like guacamole everywhere here. See these built in up there. That's cool too. Here's the menu here. This is kind of what I'm interested in. Craft your own guacamole. That sounds kind of awesome. But yeah, this is like a 
Caribbean Latin sort of place. So they have like Mexican dishes and, and other stuff. But they have like coconut curry stew. That's more of like Caribbean, Trini, Jamaican food. Oh crap, look at this. This is the um, happy hour menu and they have some really good deals here. Um, yeah, that sounds good. That is so good. So I got a mojito. This is what? Pomegranate. Ginger. Ginger. That looks awesome. So I literally ordered a plate of melted cheese. <laughs> and then there's some delicious mussels over there. Hey, so I'm home now. Um, after we uh, got our food. And then we kind of just spent a whole lot of time talking. So I didn't really want to be filming during that time. Um, but I thought I would show you the things that I picked up today because it's really exciting. Um, <laughs> so I went to Francesca's and I got my mom a little gift. Got her this like prayer box and inside of it it's like you know, a little like pen and pad and paper and she could put like her prayers in this box. I thought it was really cute. I thought of her because she prays a lot. Um, and then I did end up getting... It's so stupid but I, I really liked it. It's like this, the weird shorts cape thing. We keep calling it a shorts cape. So here's the top of it, and then there's shorts, and then there's cape. So there's shorts. I actually thought it was really cute in the dressing room. My friend kind of made fun of me, but you know what? I wear what I want. Plus she likes it, so whatever. And then Francesca's was having a buy one, get one 50% off sale. So I ended up getting these awesome swan shorts. The shorts, the swan on them. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to wear with them, but I just thought they were really fun. Um, and then I'm living with my parents right now, so I don't have any lotion that I like here, so I picked some up. Um, this is from Knep. I don't know how to say that. Someone please tell me in the comments. And this is their relaxing body lotion. And it actually smells very, like, it's not, like, perfumey. It's very, like, medicinal. When I smelled it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's something that I need. Like, not, not nothing perfumey. Like, I just imagine putting this on and meditating, and that would be really nice. So, and then the last thing I got, and this is the part we did a film after the bar, we went to Ulta to kind of like walk around and, and stuff. And I bought a new foundation, which is this stuff. And I like, I had a girl help me put it on in the store. Um, because I've been kind of unhappy with my foundation color lately. Um, and the color on this one really matched my skin. It was very, very exciting. Um, so I'm looking forward to wearing this. From now on, it's hard for me to find makeup um, because I'm multiracial and no one knows that this color exists. Um, but Lancome had a color, which is really nice, and I think it looks. This is what I'm wearing right now, um, along with a Too Faced blush, and I think it looks really good. So I'm really excited to wear this. It's also long lasting. It doesn't rub off on people, which in New York is important because I've had like people in puffy coats get too close to me on the subway, and then like they leave, and I could see like the imprint of my foundation like on their sleeve <laughs> and it's really bad <laughs> um so yeah really exciting stuff so i hope you enjoyed today's video um again i'll be back in pennsylvania for like a month so if you have any recommendations for things i should do or things that you want to see while i'm here please let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed watching this pseudo adventure i didn't do that much today i'll just give it a thumbs up i like hearing from people and i like feedback so please uh please comment that'd be great all right i'll see you later bye